Hi guys, it's Dawn Thompson with your Daily Eye and welcome to 2018. I'm sorry I'm a little behind. Um, it's been a crazy first half of January already. I have had this overload of clients, um, probably all trying to break in for the new year and, and clear themselves and, and move forward in intention. And, and what I found fascinating is, I, I'm not sure if a lot of people understand or realize with my coaching and private one-on-one -on -one work with with people is that I am an astrologer as well and so I utilize astrology as a blueprint to help my clients which makes it fast right and what I get to do is see patterns appearing and um, how they appear when the planets are influencing energy in people and it's kind of cool because you don't need to know astrology to know what's happening you can feel it there's a shift happening and people are being forced to change and because that change is happening, all of maybe our old, um, the typical topic that's coming up right now is old patterns, old cycles, old habits that keep coming up. And we're like, I don't want to create this habit anymore, but we keep doing it, repeating it, and now it's surfacing again. This is a lot of, of what Saturn is doing to us. It's pushing us up into Capricorn and saying, what's the truth? What are you avoiding? What are things that are important for you to deal with? And because that's happening, when we feel it, it's asking us to address it. How do we change a habit you don't want? It's pretty simple. Um, you replace it. We don't, you don't really delete habits. You replace them with something else that etches in a deeper wedge or um, playlist than the old one. And the old one kind of just dies off and we don't really play it anymore, but we can't change it if we don't replace it. And so a lot of people ask me, how do I change this? How do I incorporate? incorporate something new into my life and it's this simple replace it refocus and repeat and I just met with a client this week who was asking me how do I do this like how do I make the new stick and her one-year-old was running around I said simple here's a simple example so the example would be is when your one-year-old is eating does he sit there and focus only on eating the whole time or do you have to constantly re refocus him and refocus him on the food she goes oh like 20 times. I said, that's how you change a habit. You're gonna wander, you're gonna forget, something's gonna come up, someone's gonna trigger you to feel crappy again or worthless or not smart enough or not strong enough or not talented enough or whatever comes up. Not pretty enough, not handsome enough, not fit enough. It's all gonna get there and you have to refocus. You replaced it with what you know you are, amazing and talented and brilliant and smart and funny and successful and financially wealthy and, and healthy and wealth and all these things are gonna come up. But if you don't keep refocusing and then replace it, refocus, repeat, refocus, repeat, and keep running that new cycle, it's going to play the old habit that's really, really habitually trained into your vibrational energy space. This typically is never a conscious um, self-sabotaging trait that we all have. It's a subconscious and the subconscious rules kind of like it runs your submarine. It rules where the submarine goes. And so if we don't start consciously bringing the subconscious up and saying, no, I don't want to facilitate that in my life anymore. We have to replace that habit. So replace it, refocus and repeat. And that's how quick it is. And if the one year old takes 20 times, you may take 40 because you've done this old habit for 40 years. And so Again, um, that's my tip of the day is when old stuff is coming up, don't be upset, address it, replace it, refocus and repeat and good luck and I'll see you guys soon. Brightest blessing.